Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. Today's tip is on preparation for K2B Command. Right, as many of you guys may have seen, you may have access to part of the items on K2B Command. You might be utilizing, a, well, hopefully you're utilizing Kelly already. You might be utilizing the referrals. All right, so a bunch of cool items coming down the pipeline. So today is actually about getting yourself prepped for K2B Command, specifically with the CRM. So the CRM on KDB Command is pretty cool. It actually has a bunch of integration options where you can automatically pull contacts over from a bunch of different sources, um, kind of similar to how eEdge does that right now by pulling it over from Zillow, Realtor.com, Dotloop. All right, KDB Command will do something very similar, but the big one on there is that it will actually pull over from your eEdge contacts. So having your contacts prepped and ready to go into eEdge is going to make your life a lot simpler once Command launches the first of next year, all right, or the first quarter of next year. All right, so on here, the biggest thing we want to take a look at is make sure that you're under that view contact section inside the eEdge control panel. All right, so once I click on view contacts on here, this is going to be my database. So I'm just going to go over a couple of big places you'll probably want to take a look at. So first thing first, we just want to make sure that all of our contacts are set up properly on here. We have their email addresses, their phone numbers if possible. They're currently in groups if you can add them to groups. All right, this is the easiest way to actually view all of your contacts. All right, and of course, there is a filter option up here in case you want to filter out some of the contacts to view them, you know, segmented even further. Now, the contact section up here at the top right, though, is where you're really going to focus on adding in new contacts, where you can add inside new groups so that way you can organize everything. You can even import different CSV files to help out tremendously. All right, but at the end of the day, getting your contacts on here and organized into groups, adding new contacts, all right, importing different CSV files, that's going to help out tremendously. Now with the groups on here, obviously you can add as many groups as you want to. And in this case, you can just type inside whatever group name you prefer. All right, and then just click that save option. That's all you have to do. All right, so that way it'll add inside a brand new group for you to utilize. All right, having your contacts grouped is not only going to help out with your organization, but it'll help out whenever you're actually syndicating everything or integrating it over into the new KDB Command platform. All right, because once you have them inside groups, then you can actually go back over to the contacts and even the all contacts. All right, you can even bulk import these, or not bulk import, sorry, bulk update these. So if I click on Bailey and myself, for instance, that bulk update option pops up here. All right, and then I can even edit the records, which is what's currently selected. All right, and then from here, I can update the groups. I can even update the categories, company, status, or even history notes. So on the groups, I can add or remove from them. All right, in this case, they're in alphabetic order or numbers in the front, obviously. And I believe I put it inside test group September 17th. I'll click update now and Voila, we're all good to go. So that'll automatically add them over on here. All right, so that's one way to stay up to date inside your database and make sure everything is organized is through grouping them. And then, of course, if you ever add a contact, you can always click on that contact too in case you want to go through and make sure everything is up to date. Make sure you have their proper email address, proper phone numbers. Obviously, you've got all their other information on here too, like birthday and anniversary. And you can always click that edit option up here at the top left if you need to update any of this info too. All right, so start right now by going through and updating your eEdge contacts. So whenever Command does officially launch for you guys, whether you're in the lab right now or it's just going to launch in the beginning of next year, all right, then integrating this over from eEdge will be simple. So there you go. So that is your MyKW tip for the day.